You got two keys with the different color. The black one, have a look. The car will start from your remote. I have a camera and a projector that will project Jetto logo. Look at the interior, white and some of the grayish wood kind of touch over here. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, people. I'm Karkid. You're watching a car review, and this is called the Jetor Dashing. So, Jetor, let me introduce you about Jetor. Jetor is a brand launched under Cherry brand. So, it's actually a brand for Cherry that will produce only crossovers and SUVs with with the five, six, and seven seater different models. So, today we are going to review this Jetor which was produced from 2022 onwards and this is the 2024 model of Jetor Dashing. So I have bought the Jetor Dashing from Mizdawi Motors in Russell Hoard. Do visit their links in the description. If you, didn't, if you need anything, you can say my name and get reasonable discount. So the price of the Jetor Dashing starts at $14,700. It can jump up to $19,400. In UAE, it can start, start from 78,000 UAE dirhams and can jump up to 114,000 UAE drums. So you got two different engines in the Jetor Dashing. It's 1.5 liters inline for turbo engine and 1.6 liters inline for turbo engine. This is 1.6 liters producing 197 horsepower, 290 Newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 is very slow for 8.5 seconds with the seven speed gearbox in it. So the front look of the Jetor Dashing, look at the key. First of all, I have the key with me. Let me show you how it looks. You got two keys with the different color. Have a look, very nice key. And you can start the car from the, the key as well. And this is the black one, have a look. Okay, so there you go with the button, lock the car, hold it, hold it, hold it, and the car will start from your remote and you can close it from the remote as well. So uh, let me explain your front look of the Jetor Dashing. You guys might be thinking that this car looks similar to some car. You're right. I'm posting the picture here. Look at the Lamborghini Urus over here. <laughs> look at this thing over here. And look at the right side. There is a Lexus RX and look at the front of this Jetor Dashing. So a kind of a similar look of Lamborghini Urus and the Lexus RX from the front. Okay, <laughs> let's not talk that much. This is Jetor, you got some of the air vents and even you have a sound, I think the speakers are in the front. When you come closer to the car, it gives you a very nice sound and you can hear all the sound. Even outside, you got LEDs over here, low beam, full beam, some of the vents, you got camera options, this is camera, sensors all over and this is the front hood of yours i mean jetor <laughs> dashing so coming on to the side look you can see as i'm coming closer to the car and it's just unlocking so lock the car for with the folding mirrors you can see the folding mirrors you have 20 inch wheels with the black and silver touch over here a long hood with some lines curves on the doors and of course the door handles have a look when you unlock the car it will come out like this and under the mirror, you have a camera and a projector that will project Jetto logo onto the ground. And also the back doors, you can open like this. This is a silver, uh, gray color car, so you have a gray color trim over here. But if you have white and black car, so you can order also the red trim over here. So it looks better when you have the red trim on this gray, black or white at the top you have chrome on the doors and it comes over here the smaller patch and this is a bigger one so you can see a very nice finish over here at the back and the black back lights let me explain you so the back look of the jetor dashing and sound it's coming from the back as well i'm i'm just trying to find the speakers where are the speakers but i couldn't find in the front and back as well but you hear the sound clearly outside Got a very nice spoiler with the back camera over here, lights. This is the tailgate, jitter, dashing, and look at the lights. Posting the picture again from the, for Lamborghini years, you can see the 80% of the lights are similar to that. How you can open the tailgate? 
press the button it will open automatically and you have this cargo area and for closing of course the button and you can close it like that the difference between the GCC specifications and the Chinese specification is the Chinese specification is having cord exhaust and this one is having dual exhaust. So the cargo capacity of this Jutor is very nice and look at the shade, this one. And also if you want bigger spaces, you can fold the seats like that manually and you can make your cargo area bigger than the normal. So this is it, how you can fit things. And even you have some of the hidden storage space under this cover and some nets here. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim we are inside the Jetor dashing and look at the interior. White and some of the grayish wood kind of touch over here on the dashboard. First of all, when the dashboard is so clean without buttons and everything, I like that so much. So you can see the steering wheel, it's straight from the bottom and top. You get some buttons over here. It's so hot. Let's start the car. This is the key. Press the brake. This is the start stop button. Press it and it will start like this. A very small gauge cluster and 15.6 inches of central screen. That infotainment screen, you have options in it. On the steering wheel, let me explain you how you can control things on it. There's nothing much uh, similar to the normal cars when you have buttons to control, but this is something different from them. Uh, on the left side, when you scroll this button, this a small ball, when you scroll it left and right, you can control your air condition speed. And when you scroll it upwards and downwards, you can control your temperature. So as you see, you can control it from here and it's showing you on the screen. I like it because there is no button and nothing. Air vents here, a straight dashboard, clean dashboard, and some of the air vents down here. Start, start, uh, start stop button here and the gauge cluster. You cannot do anything on the gauge cluster. So moving on to the center screen here. So this is the screen, 15.6 inches with the third generation Snapdragon in it. And also you have level two plus driving assistant option in this one that can change lane and uh, cruise control and all that in this car. This is the gear lever, how you can shift into the gears like this, pull it down, drive uh, in the center neutral, back reverse, and this is parking button. This is the handbrake over here. A lot of people ask me questions that why you're not showing the gear, how you can shift and how you can put it into the handbrake. So this is auto brake that it, if you should just park the car and it will switch on. On the screen over here, let me show you. This is the main screen. So you have a lot of things here. Uh, small screen, yeah, like showing map, car, FM radio and all that. But you have some of the shortcuts all over down in the screen. Press it here. It will show you the map. Why oh, it's not showing. I think the map is not installed, but it's showing, yes. And the phone. And uh, some of the interesting things here, when you click on the camera, this is the camera. Even you can go from menu as well. So you have a camera. It will show you different views in 2D and 3D. So you have different views. You can scroll and you can see what's going on. And you have 3D also, 3D. When you click on 3D, it will show you like this, underbody camera with some tires of your car and you have lots of lots of camera views. One interesting option, you can also take photo of your car like this from underbody camera like this, taking a photo. So it will take a photo and you can go back into your gallery like from here and you can see the photos which you have taken. So what else is there? You have air condition, uh, uh, it's all controlled in from the screen touch. This is setting, you can go on the setting and uh, there's a normal general settings which every infotainment screen have. Then you have the car settings. When you go on the car settings, you have uh, service, exterior lamp, ambient lamp. So you have ambient lights as well. You can uh, also change lighting according to your mode. Driving assistant options you have. Then you have the car setting option and car condition. So it will show you the statics here in this menu. Then you have map, car, BT, and local. But this is all, this is not so, so advanced infotainment screen that I can show you some of the amazing things from here. This is all what is in the infotainment screen. Then you have a, a very nice uh, console over here. You have some ports down here and two mobile spaces. Like you can keep on charge 
and put your phone here and also you have uh, wireless charging uh, in the center console this is the hazard light press it the hazard lights will come on you have two cup holders and center cons uh, uh, armrest here and you have a glove compartment over here and hook to hang your bags or something a small hook so at the top you have uh, press it the shade will come on and press it back the shade will go off and of course you can uh, move your roof as well from these buttons so this is it in the front let's go back and explain you the back seats so we are at the back of the jetor and it's very spacious the headroom is very nice you got lights at, at the top and a sportier a seats sportier looking seats actually from uh, the back like this is a sportier look and a very comfortable seats three people can fit easily on these seats you have air vent and one usb slot for your charging and uh, the center console here back of the center console you have the air vents the seats and also you have cup holders here at the center it's wrapped i don't want to ruin it so let it be packed also you got options for five seater seven seater uh, in jitor you got a roof at the top with the shade on and you can have uh, the view from the back so it's very spacious the headroom is very very nice so bismillahir rahman rahim we are inside the jitor dashing and let's go for a drive and let's see how how it feels when you drive this thing and uh, the thing is the interior is so nice but it's so light the car is so light and let's try it because 0 to 100 it's 8.5 seconds okay the car is so light and there is so much sound in the car the quality is not that good actually so uh, and i feel so light when you drive it and one more thing i have noticed when i shift into gear like when i'm stopped now let's put into reverse and you can see when i put into reverse and i'm pressing the accelerator but the car is getting so much delay in the gear again see after like two three seconds it recognizes that you have shifted the car into reverse or drive and then it starts moving this is so bad thing uh, with the shape by the shape the car is so nice as I showed you from the exterior and uh, interior things are also good because the price is so cheap and in this price uh, you can get only this thing <laughs> with the, the shape you can uh, compare it with the Lamborghini Urus but not with the quality and power and engine and everything so you got a big screen on the center here and some of the options like the camera and lane changing option cruise control but i have to say that the quality is a bit cheap quality and it's so slow so slow actually mm, because 0 to 100 in 8.5 seconds of course it will be slow and this is not the sports car or something like that but it is economical car On the turns also when you turn the car it's you feel the lightness and uh, uh, it's not so heavy like it is SUV it should be a little bit heavier than it is now but it's not so heavy the hood is so long the engine is so small actually when you open the hood like I showed you the engine is small you have a lot of empty space in the hood uh, as if you, if you compare the engine and the hood size